a student carry out experiment to find a relation between the pressure and the volume of a fixed mass of a gas the table contained four of her set use the data suggests a relation between the pressure and volume in the experiment so what is the relation look it was 250 become 500 so 30 become 15 so if the pressure is double what happened to volume it become half so what we can say we can say if we, we are increasing one quantity and other is decreasing we can say they are inversely proportional if we increase if we double the pressure the volume will be half and whenever two quantities are inversely proportional their product is always constant that's always the case for two inverse proportional quantities when we say pressure is inversely proportional to volume so whenever any value of the pressure multiplied with this volume will get a constant answer fixed answer so how we explain this result if pressure increases the volume will decrease that is one thing and what is the second mark whenever two quantities are inversely proportional the product will be constant so the product of pressure and volume will be constant and you can check this how you can check like example if 250 if this 250 multiplied by 30 that is 7500 when 500 multiplied by 15.2 that is 7600 it is approximately same 750 multiplied by 9.8 7350 1000 multiplied by 7.6 so 700 uh, 7600 so approximately whenever we multiply because practically theory is something different practical having many factors so practically it will have a slight change but theoretically it should always be same so if we increase the pressure the volume will decrease for a gas and they are inversely proportional to each other is it clear yes sir clear Yes, you can mention some data from the table. That's right. You can mention, you will use the data from the table. That's why the table is given so that you can use it. Then state the property of a gas apart from mass that remain constant for the experiment. So whenever we are finding a relation between pressure and volume, we should keep temperature constant because temperature can also affect the volume and pressure. So temperature must be constant by changing a pressure the volume will change so we must keep the temperature constant as it can also affect the volume then a lake is five meter deep so there is a lake example this is a lake and that is five meter deep so we have to calculate the pressure 5 meter deep lake is there. We have to calculate a pressure due to water. So pressure is equals to density, gravity and depth. Density of a water is 1000, gravity is 10 and depth is 5. So we multiply all of them. So it will be 5 and then 50,000 will be the answer. 50,000 Pascal. Then a bubble of a gas escaped from a mud. So what happened like this is a lake and there's a bubble which is there released from the mud. Look, when in, under, the, under the water, the pressure will be higher. So the volume will be small. But when this bubble will rise up near, near the surface, the volume of the bubble will be larger because the pressure is less. Only atmospheric pressure is there. Before that, there's the atmospheric pressure plus the liquid pressure. So... A bubble of a gas escapes from the mud at the bottom of a lake and rises to the surface. Place one tick in each row of a table indicate what happened to the volume, the mass and the density. Mass means number of the particles, so the number of the particle does not change, so it will stay the same. 
But what happened to the volume? Because the bubble is rising, the pressure decreases. If the pressure decreases, the volume of the bubble will increase. And what about density? Density is mass divided by volume. The mass of the bubble does not change. So if the volume is increasing, what happened to density? It will decrease. Is it clear, the second part? Yes, sir. So this was the last uh, question related to the weekly homework.